is your reading. I'm Sha uh, for the 4th to the 10th of May 2020 and I hope you will enjoy it. Remember it's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you then go and have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot and I'm also using the Angel Feather, Archangel Michael and the Healing Strength or the yeah, the healing strength of the angels and my crystal ball. I'll be making notes so that I can see whether it reverberates back to uh, the crystal ball, the cards, and just uh, trade, just words or names or whatever, um, and we'll see what happens. And thank you very much for sharing and liking. Ch uh, Cyber Angels and welcome back and thank you very much for your loyalty and love and support. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel Charlie's Angel Tarot and I do go live every week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I give away free cards and I will answer questions so long as there is a donation to support it and that could be a super sticker or a super chat. The tea room, the live chat is awesome because all cyber angels and I support each other and I'm really grateful and I love my tea room and so do the cyber angels. They're amazing. Okay, my cyber angels and new followers, please subscribe if you would like and hit the bell and then click on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. Have a look at the uh, website. You can click on this white dot and there you can see interviews, you can see reviews, you can see the latest news and also the other side of me, my life coach. I've just started downloading some videos with regards to Whiplash. Um, I will be uh, uploading different types of uh, videos, of course, not only about Whiplash. So, you can see the other side of me as well. Okay, let's get started with your reading. I've cleaned the crystal ball before I start it. I do that with every reading I do, whether it's for you, a general one, or whether it's in life. Okay. I let it rest as well so it can gain other energy and this is your Libra energy and I'm getting uh, noughts and crosses here I don't know whether that um, the game noughts and crosses like the framework I don't know whether you feel tied up or in a web are you too much in your head Libra are you too much in your head wow you've definitely got an eye for things I also see an eye this could be the third eye uh, this could also be just normal eyes perhaps you might be awake your spirituality might be awakening okay um, oh noughts and crosses when I just did that oh my gosh it's just hashtag it's just come through hashtag something might be hashtag and I also see the word really funnily written like graffiti yes yes graffiti yes oh, this is magic this is already your romance reading was amazing I thought that was it took a life of its own I, I don't uh, I hope it won't do that this time here because then it will be really extra long again. Something will become clear to you. You there was mistiness around you. I also see a cylinder, a cylinder. It's like tunnel vision. Tunnel vision cylinder tunnel vision perhaps you might not be focused cylinders right that's quite a lot it's going boom 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 so you might have tunnel vision 
you might be focused on just one thing you might be wearing blinkers you don't want to see something so let's have a look what the cards are saying for you Libra okay I hope your week has been well I hope everybody's been well I do go live Monday and Wednesday and sometimes spontaneously and also Friday there have been some good sessions last week very very enjoyable very sweet people are very generous as well and I am grateful and you've got the four of wands Ooh, marriage stability proper foundations productivity mother of cups now the king of cups is cancer so the mother is Scorpio you might be meeting a Scorpio but don't um, don't uh, exclude uh, Pisces or cancer then you have the six of cups the six of cups and now somewhere near the bottom of the deck I'm not looking there you go oh I love this one the black and white cat justice justice and the underneath the deck it's the king of wands the father of wands wow energy big father of wands is Aries now you've got a major reading again so let's have a look ice look at this ice it looks like an eye it looks like the Turkish blue eye amazing <laughs> the e eye of evil eye of Horus some call it so that's protecting you protection against evil yes and you you are building new things on proper foundations um, if you, this card really means celebrations weddings you might be invited to weddings it could be your own wedding sorry about that um, you might be invited to weddings or this could be your own wedding you might be buying a house because you've got the four corners of a house so that is also stability if you do go to celebrations uh, parties or anything like that to celebrate then you might be meeting people there they might become your friends it will be a very good friendship because it will be built on proper foundations this could be with the mother of cups okay so it could be the queen of cups and uh, doesn't um, it, it could be a man but with a f nurturing nature uh, a feminine side will come out more of nurturing nature sorry I couldn't get my words around I've done so many videos and uh, uh, she stands for love, passion, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality. So you might be meeting a person like that if you're not meeting um, a Scorpio because the mother of cups is Scorpio. Don't forget Cancer or Pisces but prominently Scorpio. If you're not meeting a person like that then you might be nurturing or caring yourself taking care extra care of yourself you might be spoiling yourself at this moment you might buy a new dress to go to this celebration and at Friday you have the six of cups six of cups you might be reminiscing about the past but somebody else might be coming back from the past and bringing you a gift that could be a reunion at the weekend you've got the card of justice now the card of justice obviously represents Libra but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius but it does mean Libra the scales keeping balance you might you might not be in balance or because somebody's coming back and there is a reunion you're finally back in balance and if you're in judicial situation then it could be you'll get what you deserve and so will that they you will get your justice beautiful 
and you might be meeting the fire, the king of fire, and that's the king of wands, so that's an Aries. Okay, but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. This man knows what he wants, he's passionate, he's active, he's creative, and he's logical. He's, he's quick, okay? He's very quick. So if you don't, if you if you want this passion to last or turn into um, a fully fledged uh, romance or affair or partnership, then make sure that you don't get burnt out, because air and fire, air will give more oxygen to fire and it will go bigger, okay? And then you can get burnt out, both of you. So, set your boundaries, know your boundaries, know their boundaries, let them know what your boundaries are, so it can be balanced. Boom! Amazing! And, um, if I have to come back to the word yes, then justice will be done. Yes. Will you get married? Yes. That's the answer yes that I'm getting. Tunnel vision from the past, perhaps this is looks like a tunnel. Family is also I'm getting with this card, I oh, because it's a tree and it's got roots, something is either grown or something is really important to you. Family is important to you. Amazing. Okay. And it's also a bit crazy. It also this deck looks a bit like graffiti. You've got success and that means yes and you've got an angel number, so the angels have your back. 33, 6, your back in balance, 6, 6, again, double numbers. Okay, amazing. Okay, you'll, you've got a golden card, okay, from the angel uh, feather deck. Archangel Michael deck, sorry. An Archangel Michael deck. House protection. Wow, you're going. You might be moving to a new house, or you might have bought a house. Okay. Your home is your castle. Archangel Michael and his band of angels stand guard over your home, day and night. Now let's see what you have for the. Ah, uh, you've got time to meditate. Time to meditate. Okay. Um. The angels are re ready to assist you. Okay. Indigo. I'm just looking for the crystal stones. Hold on, guys. Uh, okay. Time to meditate. The angels are ready to assist you with development of your psychic perception and visual acuity. During meditation, the indigo angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of clairvoyance. Indigo is a mixture of blue and purple. You have the ability to develop great psychic powers as you have searched for your own inner and outer awareness. Your intuition has been heightened and spiritual knowledge has developed. The angels ask that you maintain a regular meditative practice so they that they can assist with attuning your third eye chakra. Amazing third eye. We got the third tunnel vision eyes in the crystal ball, ice in the cards, ice in, the, uh, ice in this, your third eye. The angels also ask that you trust your spiritual insights. The angels that go with this card is Archangel Jeremiah, the angel of meditation and clairvoyance, prophetic and psychic dreams, assist with dream interpretations, life reviews and making life changes an archangel Raziel, the archangel of secret mysteries whose name means the secret of god and he enhances 
your intuition and all your clairvoyance, audiovoyance and clairsensius. Okay, and the crystal that you can use is kyanite, amethyst, lapis lazuli, satin, sapphire to enhance these qualities and talents. Wow. Libra, you're spiritual this week. You're developing, you're evolving your spirituality, your intuition, your psychic mind or your third eye. Awesome. I love this reading. Let me know whether that's true or whether you're getting married and you're having success. But know that you are protected and your house is protected if you've bought a new house. Awesome. You've got your balance. You're in your power because this is also the Libra card, Libra. Okay? Just remember, you might be meeting a water sign or a fire sign. Good luck to you. Stay safe and be blessed. Ciao, ciao.